Hello! In this session, we're going to talk about how to rotate a video in Blender not using the video sequence editor, using the compositor. And why would we do that? Because it lets us do a little bit extra to the final product. Um, so let's get into it. Um, I'm not going to explain much. I'm just going to show you the steps and then you'll be able to follow through. And at a later time, uh, when in this series, when we start talking about things like how to green screen, then I'll go into more detail and explain these different pieces a lot better than what I'm going to do now. Okay, so let's get into it. So we're going to start by creating a brand new scene. And then I'm going to drag and drop the video in. So from there, I can see the dimensions and the length. So let me set the length first. This is how long it should be. And then here, these are the dimensions. That's the size it ought to be. Okay, from here, now I'm gonna delete everything. I'm going to just go to strip, erase strips, and it's all gone because from here, we're going to go into the compositor. So I'm going to also suggest that we rename this. I'll just say um, import using compositor. Okay. And now here, we're going to click this button to choose a different screen layout. We're going to go to compositing. So you notice the screen has totally changed. And uh, also the scene went back to the default scene. So I need to first thing first is to click that and go back to import using compositor. All right, now, um, lots of stuff going on. Just just watch and follow the steps. And I'll explain, again, I'll explain in a later video. We're going to click Use Nodes. That opens, that brings on two items here. Uh, we need this one, which is how you get the final output. We don't need this one. So left click on this and go to Node and delete. You'll notice the hotkey is also X, same as with the video sequence editor. Now click on Add input, movie clip. You have to move your mouse now because it didn't actually add anything yet. It's waiting for you to place it somewhere on this top left pane. So I'll just left click to place it. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in so it's easier to read. Click the open button and browse to the video. Double click to open and there it is. You can click on this backdrop checkbox and nothing's going to show up yet until we add a viewer node. So let's go do that now. Go to node, no, sorry. Go to add, output, viewer. And again, it, a blender wants you to place that somewhere. I'm just going to stick it over here. And here's the fun part with um, the compositor. You have to draw lines from the right side of the one node to the left side of the other. So to be able to see anything, we have to go here and click and drag over to here. And now you can see the video in, in the background. If we go over here, we scroll down here and click fit so we can see a bit better. Now here's the last step. We need to rotate it. Actually, it's not the last step, second last step. Go back to add and we go to distort and rotate. Now again, Blender wants us to place it somewhere. You'll see as I hover it over the, the line that I drew, <clears throat> it turns and it changes color to an orange. That means that it's going to get placed in between. So I'm going to go ahead and allow that. So left click to place it. And now nothing has changed because all we've done is added it, but we haven't done and we haven't made a change. It's still set to, you can see there, zero degrees. So click that. You can say minus 90 degrees. And I zoom out now and you can see now it is showing it rotated properly. Um, to be able to move around in the scene, the, the buttons are all down over here. So let me drag that over. You can see we've got our, our timeline over here, which takes a bit. If I click around on it, you can scrub it. You can see that that is looking fine. You'll notice Okay, I can't, if I zoom in and out, it doesn't do anything. I have to go down over here, uh, over to zoom and just change that number. You'll notice it just looks like a box. It's not shaped properly, but don't worry, it is gonna work. 
we just need to do one more thing and that is to draw another line from the image output of the rotate node to the input here under composite. That's the key thing step right there because that will allow us to use the results of this rotation in uh, the video sequence editor. So let's go ahead now, click this and go back to video editing. And now I am going to click here to go back to the first frame, go to add, scene, and then this is the what we the scene in which we use the compositor to do the import. Left click and that's it. So this scene, this video we can use for just about anything now. For example, this is and this is something we couldn't do with the other one. Let me show you. I'm going to flip over to this scene, which has a 1920 by 1080 setup. I've already got a background image loaded. I'm going to stretch that out. I'm going to add that scene right in here as well. Um, and to make use of it properly, I'm going to click on image offset. And lo and behold, now it's shaped properly. Just like, you know, if you were to bring in an image or something else or a video that doesn't match the dimensions, switch the blend to overdrop. And then I can just set that to 600, I think. There. See? And that's it. That is uh, that is using the compositor to bring in a video and then do the rotation and then set it as the as the output and then then you can use that scene in another scene and that's how you do it it gets easier the more you use it but uh, but there you go um, that's a quick like crash course into how to use the compositor to bring in a video and do some um, edits on it and, and then use the results inside of the video sequence editor okay so Hope you find that useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye now.